to Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I just want to like to show you the ripple filter. And first thing to do, just go to this image and filters, and that's distort and ripple. Now you'll see the, the actual panel just always appears over there. It would be nice if it just was in the center, but it's always over there. So what you can do, just apply a ripple like that. You'll see the ripple effect just been added. But you can also modify the position. You see if you just hover over there, outside of there, you can see a little plus appear, center of the ripple. So you can just drag it over there. So you can modify that, move that around. Click, apply, and that's it. Now, what you also can do, of course, you can apply it more than once. I mean, it's one of the best things about filters. Just go to ripple, and you can then go back again, back up there, go to the ripple. You can see you can just add that. Maybe create a greater effect or less. And you can actually add different centers, of course, for the effect. So click OK. Now, if you don't want those, we just want to go back a bit. I'm just going to go back to the start. And now, what also you've got is a layer option, a layer, a new live filter layer, and a ripple. So I'm just going to go down to there, and there's a ripple filter. And the good thing about this is that you've got the intensity. And again, just puts it down the bottom there. Always prefer them to be there, but anyway. Like that, you can go to the blend mode and you can then just go through and see the effect in different blend modes. Very quick and easy, so you can just find which one you like the best. Now, another option as well, and I'm just going to go for color burn there. Right, and also you can, of course, modify the opacity and you can still use it, modify that. And also, not only that, it's a live effect, so you can actually go back to it at a later point. So if you just want that, just double click on there and again, just bring up the panel here and you can modify the effect and push it up like that. Now, I'm just going to remove that now. And also you can use it with type. So you just quickly go over there. So add some type. I'm just going to add very basic type. Type. Resize that type layer can now also be rippled. And you can use, while that's actually selected, so you just go there, you can go to layer and new life filter layer and ripple, and you can see the effect there on live text. So you can just drag that around, modify that, and that's it. So you can actually just go and change the, type, the actual type as well. So just go there. So you don't want that word type, you can go for cat instead. We've got the effect changed like that. Also, another great thing, you can use it with, this is for over here with the channels. So just go up to over here, and if you want to find channels, it's in the view and studio and channels. And again, you can just go to filters and distort and ripple. I'm just going to, again, put it down here. So just, and again, you can modify. I'm just going to put it up into the top there. And I'm just going to have a slight ripple there. Apply. And now I'm going to go to the green. And again, you can see obviously there's nothing there. There's no ripple applied there. Filter. Distort and ripple, okay, put it down there, just put drag that over there, click apply, and then go back. I'm not going to touch the blue, so you can see you can create some very interesting color effects using the ripple with color effects and channels. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.